The August of Roundup was a military operation against the Polish World War II, anti-communist partisans and their sympathizers following the Soviet takeover of Poland. This operation was undertaken by Soviet forces with the assistance of Polish communist units, and conducted from July 10 to 25, 1945, in the Szewolki and Augustow regions of the Northeastern Polish People's Republic. There, Roundup was undertaken by the Soviet forces of the Red Army, the NKVD and Smersh, with the assistance of the Polish UB and LWP units. This operation also took place in former Polish territories annexed by the Soviet Union and given to the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic. More than 2,000, although some historians estimate as many as 7,000, accused Polish anti communist fighters and sympathizers were arrested and interrogated in two waves of mass arrests. The majority were held in Soviet prison camps, the surviving prisoners were released to Poland in 1956, a total of 600 disappeared during their imprisonment, their fate is unknown to this day. The misting includes include 27 women, some of whom were pregnant, and 15 teenagers. The Augustov, missing are presumed to have been executed and buried in an unknown location in Russia. Despite demands from many Poles for this incident to be investigated, it was denied by both the Soviet and Polish communist governments. Even in the 1980s, a government representative Jerzy Urban declared that the Polish government had no evidence to support the theory that a group of Polish citizens disappeared in the Augusto region in 1945. After the fall of communism, the new Polish government supported the investigation, carried out by the Institute of National Remembrance, which classified it as a communist crime. While it's accepted that the Soviet Union, backed by Polish communist forces, arrested and likely executed approximately 600 Polish citizens connected to the anti-communist resistance, no conclusive information on their exact fate and resting place has yet been found. In 1995, the Russian government confirmed that 590 Polish citizens were arrested and 579 were put on trial, but claim they have no information on their subsequent fate. In 2005, the Institute of National Remembrance noted that the research possibilities on Polish territory had been exhausted. Even the archives of Polish secret services involved in the operations were searched, but contained only basic information that they were aiding the Soviets, which was already known. Polish requests to the Russian government for support in the investigation have been largely ignored. A symbolic monument has been built in the village of Jibi, where a mass grave was found, although, these were later proven to belong to German soldiers from a nearby field hospital. In May 2011, Russian historian Nikita Petrov said that he found a KGB document proving that the Poles were executed by NKVD. This has sparked major interest in Polish mainstream press and from the Institute of National Remembrance, which declared that it would seek the documents located by Petrov for further analysis. On April 18, 2012, the Polish Institute of National Remembrance announced that it has received the Soviet-era documents concerning the executions.